Are you backing into your throw? Do you know how bad that is? You lose all kinds of speed and acceleration. No, God, please, no! And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through and talk about how to fix it, why it happens in this video. Check it out. It's Eric Johnson from Air Tate Throws Nation. In today's YouTube video, what we're gonna talk about is the back end. Now, this is a thing that a lot of young throwers do, and it's something you really wanna be able to change in the off season. If you're backing into the throw, what that means is that you're coming around, you're usually cutting your sweep, and you're backing in. So, when we look, when we see this position, in this, and we have a wide sweep, we're gonna notice how that's gonna allow me to sit on top, and that's going to keep the, what we refer to as the stack. That's our pillar five. We're gonna have everything lined up, foot, knee, hip, peck, and we're gonna be able to rotate and turn the delivery side into the throw. What happens with a lot of young throwers is, as they come around and they have a narrow sweep, they turn. And you're gonna notice when I showed you that, if, you look, if I look here at this camera, you're gonna notice how I put my foot down on the ground. The key is, if I go narrow sweep, and I turn, you're gonna see how everything's gonna turn and shift, and then you're gonna see this type of motion. And what you're gonna see are the hips usually facing outside the sector. This is another big thing that can contribute to sector fouls, but what a lot of athletes do is when they're doing this, they get good at dropping the discus and pulling the discus across. So they're really decelerating the implement as they hit the middle when they're supposed to be accelerating. So now, one of the core things we wanna talk about again, we're assuming that you understand, you've got your setup, your pillar one, your two, your three, three, four, five, six. And so what we wanna do, again, if you are not sure what the pillars are, we've read a few comments here and there that people aren't sure what the pillars mean and what they are, go to the link attached to this video. We have a link to a free TCR mini course on rotational throws and the glide, and we explain the six pillars in detail so that you understand exactly what we're talking about in these videos. I'd recommend that you look at our sweep video where we talk about we always want that rotationally long path. The point of the throwing chain reaction is to always show you that what your, where your errors are occurring in the throw are always preceded by the what's happening in the chain, right? So we start in our pillar one. What we did in pillar one, two, three is gonna affect that four, five position, and that's gonna be a really key thing. So when this heel drops, and you see again, we see the back end, you're gonna see this. Now, no matter what I do, if the toe's down and the sweep is here, again, you'll notice that this is typically the position. So then you get kids that are gonna have multiple compensation patterns when that occurs. So what we wanna make sure we're doing is really avoiding that. And again, so the simple thing is what you wanna think about, and this is a great thing for off-season training. When you're working on your drills, you really wanna get comfortable with that sweep position. One of the things we talk about all the time when we do our camps all over the world, we talk about that throwing is an unnatural sport. It's There's nothing normal about it, and so you have to practice these position pieces, and that's where the pillars come in, to train how to move and what do you do, what's the objective and what is the what are the positions that are gonna help you achieve that objective. And so we work on those things in pieces so that we can put it together and that unnatural movement starts to become natural. And that's how you're gonna see big increases in your throws. One of the key things is when we set up the throw right, we have the knees apart, we have that nice rotational sweep. You're gonna see how I'm gonna come in and that's gonna allow this type of position and I'm gonna allow that delivery side to come through the throw versus the foot, the knee sweep coming down, the foot doing this and seeing the back in and you're gonna see how that doesn't enable me to rotate. It causes a settling and a shift and then once that happens, it's very difficult to get the discus ahead and when that foot stops, the discus is catching up. So that means it's slowing down, then you're trying to accelerate again and by that time, you're losing all the momentum in the throw and it's gonna cost you big distance. So be sure to take the off season, work on this, avoid the back end because that's gonna absolutely crush your throwing and make that pivot in the middle next to impossible. So thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up, comment below on anything else you'd like to see. Thanks so much and we'll see you on the next video. Be sure to check out our next videos. Be sure to subscribe. Visit our website for free videos. Click the links below. We have links to our free mini course. Check out our websites for camps and different detailed information. Throw farther faster by understanding the science with the Throwing Chain Reaction System. Thanks so much for watching.